so hi everyone we are back with yet very exciting tutorial on na10 and this time we are implementing rag yes you heard it right we would be giving a document and then asking questions based on that using na10 so in this workflow you just need to change the file and eventually this rag workflow works completely automatically for any of your use cases so as you can see this particular part, this particular N8 and workflow is divided into two parts. The first part, as you can see on my screen, is for creating the vector database. And this, the second part, which is a little more complex, is for retrieving information from that vector database. So I would be explaining both the parts one by one. So let's get started. By the time it gets created, let me create the vector DB as well for you. So let's start off with testing the workflow. And I'll be explaining you how the process is working. So I have initiated the first workflow within the RAG framework. So here the workflow is getting initiated by a manual trigger as you can see. The second part is read binary file. So this is where I am passing my PDF file. So this PDF file is my new book. Model Context Protocol Advanced AI Agents for Beginners. So this book will be out shortly so i hope you read it out but by the time let me implement a rack system over it so as you can see the execution has been done the next part is a simple vector store where i'm passing my pdf file so i will click on this and here you can see that there are a few things that i'm doing the most important one is the operation mode where i'm mentioning i'm inserting documents this is very important I am explaining the embedding batch size equals to 50 also. And I am mentioning memory key as data 1. This is very important. I will be telling you why. So once this simple vector store is set up, there are two things you need to add to this vector store. One is the embedding model. So again, I am using Olama. This is completely open sourced and free. This is my embedding model that is nomic embed text. I hope you know how to use Olama. The next part is a data loader. So basically the PDF file that I'm uploading would be getting transformed using this data loader. So once you click here, it is also very important. The type of data I'm mentioning is binary because I'm not extracting the text out of the PDF. I'm just loading it, passing it directly to the uh, data loader. That is why the type of the data is binary load all input data. And data format, I'm asking it to my, uh, automatically detect. So on the left, right hand side, you can see that this is a page content that the data loader is able to fetch out. And we need to add a token splitter also. I think this is quite obvious. And here we are mentioning the chunk size and chunk overlap. I hope as you uh, might have understood what RAG is, you must be knowing what is chunk size and chunk overlap. So I'm not going to explain that for now, but here you can see that these are the chunks that we have generated on the right hand side. So once this is done, once we executed this, as you saw, if I click on a simple vector store on the right hand side, you can see the output coming out. So on the tabular format, as you can see page content and there are 28 pages that are visible here. 28 tabs and this is the extraction that we have done and 272 items have been extracted so this was the first part where we have created the vector dv do remember that this is the most important key here memory key because in the next part as we come here as you can see there is olama also let me do this like this so the vector store that i'm using again how are we connecting the vector store in the above flow with the lower one using the memory key? So the memory key in both the vector bases where we are inserting the data and from where we are reading should be the same. Here it is data one as you can see. So let's initiate this particular process also. And then I'll be explaining you in detail how I created this workflow as well. So let me open chat and let me ask it question. What are some different MCP servers? Let me paste in chat because this is a chat initiated so you need to ask a question what are some different mcp servers as this book is based on model context protocol you would be soon seeing that it should would be going to this part vector store tool 
and extract the information from the vector db that we have created so here we have created an ai agent a basic one uh, window buffer memory is not required also you can leave it this is the important part that is a olama chart model where we are adding our olama model that is quint 2.5 this is not an embedding model do remember this and the tool it is a vector store tool so we would be using the vector db that we created in the previous step as a vector tool as you can see for the ai agent now within this vector store tool there are two things you need to mention one is a vector db to be used and the chat model to be used to talk to the vector db and within the vector db also you need to have an embedding model a little complicated but just look at this and you should be able to get it if i click on the embedding again i am this embedding use our nomic embed text you need to use the same model both the ways do remember this while creating the embeddings and while retrieving the embeddings also and in the simple vector store as already showed you this is the memory key that i'm using data one and here is the extraction that has been done it is in the last stage of its execution so what is happening when i'm shooting my question to ai agent the ai agent is using this as a tool the vector db and then interacting with the vector db to extract the most important information that is relevant to the question and then passing it back to the ai agent so on the right hand side you can see that it is able to fetch out some mcp servers that are mentioned in my book powerpoint mcp server g suit mcp server gmail as you can see it is able to mention that let me ask it another question what is model context protocol this is a basic question that i'm asking let's see how it performs on this this is just a demonstration you should be able to like tune out the parameters that i'm using change the chunk size change the embedding size change the batch size whatever you wish to do you can even use a different vector store as well here i'm using the default one because this is free so right now no penny has been spent on this entire workflow everything is free all the models are used from olama and even the vector store used is a simple vector store in memory vector store hence once i close this workflow uh, you again need to create the vector db so for now this will be helpful for you to like talk to any document instantaneously else if you wish to have a permanent solution in place of the vector store tool you need to have pine cone or something else so you can search for that there are also vector dbs but hosted ones as you can see pine core vector store but this requires an api and as most of you might not be having it i am opting for a free vector store for now that is a, like default one and should be able to use so this is the last query that i have saved like what are model context protocol and let's see what output we get here right now it is fetching the information from the vector dv as you can see as you can see on the right hand side it is able to fetch some information and right now the chat model was reforming everything whatever was fetched from the vector db it is now in its last stages as you can see and we would be soon having our final result coming out of this question so this is a very quick way of setting up a rack system in n810 two steps a little complicated for a few of you as you can see Two steps are there first is creating the vector db second is using that vector db uh, now our execution is done and this is the output i've got model context protocol is a protocol designed to facilitate communication between ai models and various software applications etc etc so with this it's a wrap i hope you try out creating a rack framework using n810 this is quite easy and I would be soon sharing all these workflows in one place. Thank you so much. And I hope you try out any time.